Om Shanti, dear friends, very warm welcome. I would like to share a few words on how to be happy and courageous in our life. We say that courage is the king of all qualities and contentment is the queen of all the qualities. Does it look logical? The courage is the king and contentment is the queen or we can say queen mother of all the qualities. Like we say that purity is the basic quality of a human being and is the basic blessing bestowed upon us by Baba. When we become Baba's children, the first two blessings that Baba will give us is be holy and be yogi. If you lead a pure life, peace and prosperity will follow. Peace and happiness are the children of purity. Those who lead a pure life, they always remain peaceful and happy. As the blessing bestowed upon us by the sweetest father, and that is why we are all peaceful and always have a happy looking face. We are always happy within. But when the moments impurity gets in, your stage starts shaking, your mind starts getting confused. But if you have purity, clarity in your mind, then there is no confusion or tension. Similarly, the Baba has said that if you have contentment in your life, all other qualities will follow. So, the contentment is a beautiful blessing the Father has given us. Father gives us the blessing, you are the embodiment of success and says the contentment comes by four things in your life. They are the first one, detached observer stage. Second one, make Baba as your companion. Third one, progress. And fourth one is achievements and attainments in your life. When we become Baba's children, we have permanent achievements and eternal achievements because our father is an eternal bestower. He is always a bestower. Baba says, if you want to become like me, you must be very close to me, means just remember me and thereby I will do alone. Be close to me, make me as your companion and observe the scenes in this world as a detached observer. For example, tortoise, what does it do? It always seems as a detached observer. If he sees something to eat by someone or hungry, it comes into an activity and again becomes detached observer. How much does tortoise live? Do you know? How many years? 300 to 400 years is the normal life of the tortoise. If we learn the art of living like detached observer, we are peaceful and even we can live such a long life like tortoise. Human genes are designed by the nature to live maximum of 100 to 150 years healthy life. If you need a contented life, detached observer is the key. The second one is companionship with father, Baba. We all need to do it. The constancy and consistency of companionship with father is very important. We have to imagine our consciousness that Baba is my companion. When we are that much close to Baba and make Baba as our companion, progress comes automatically. For eternal achievements, we need to have two things. They are property, property in the sense, all powers, what choose to imbibe, and second one, relations. Baba says, you have to feel that along with companionship, you are always with him in performing his task, world transformation and self-transformation. That is where our progress lies. If there is no progress, there is no satisfaction, but the contented soul always keeps progressing. So the important thing is becoming embodiment of blessings given by Baba. Become the embodiments of knowledge that Baba has given us. First revise them and stabilize in that. Then we feel energetic. Remembering the Baba gives energy to put the blessings in practical form. Remembrance is just like a water which gives energy instantly when we are tied. And then work or you can say service automatically happens when we become embodiment of inequality. So, the achievement means becoming embodiments of all powers and virtues. For a long time, if you have practiced, then and only you can use those powers at the time of self-transformation. Okay then, courageous. Courageous is not a voluntary response. Involuntary response. 
For example, if we say the lion, the immediate voluntary response that comes from us is run. But courageous is a positive response to fight. It is developed by training. We are spiritual army. We have wonderful education with us. We are taught with all values. Army teaches how to use weapons to make powerful. And here Baba has given us eight weapons, eight powers to be powerful. They are power to tolerate, power to face, power to discriminate, power to judge, power to adjust, power to cooperate, power to pack up, power to accommodate. All these powers are eternal since I am an eternal soul. Because I the soul never die and scared for the death has been completely vanished. This consciousness of I am an eternal soul gives immense courage. Courage need only two things. The first one, the consciousness of I am an eternal soul, imperishable soul. And second one is connection with Almighty Father Baba. Just remaining in soul consciousness and keeping the Baba as company makes you very courageous. People will come to help you in trouble if you are in soul consciousness and keeping connection with Father constantly. Concentration makes us to keep constant connection with Baba which is the key for courage. Baba wants us all powers all the times. He wants us to become like Him by removing the weaknesses. Sometimes something has happened and wants us to become powerfully constantly all the time, not sometimes, which brings closeness to the perfection to lead a peaceful life. Meditation and four qualities are required to become a courageous and a good leader. With meditation, you can become a detached observer like tortoise, and you will be always ever ready. If you are a good listener, you will get a good management information system. If you are available, you can take decisions. If you are tolerant, you have ability of holding responsibility and decision making. If you are flexible, you can adjust and mold to any situation and can make a good team. When you display these qualities in your life, everything comes automatically in your life. If you are always happy and courageous, the success will be at all levels of you. Baba says, I always want my children to be victorious. Equal to Baba means always victorious. We were victorious, we are victorious and we will be always victorious. Because we have all powers and virtues and Baba is companion with us. This is the blessing bestowed upon us by the Father. So, with that good wishes, all of you the sweetest children of the sweetest Father, be always victorious in all situations and let success be your but right by developing courageous and contentment with meditation and all powers and virtues. Beautiful friends, I hope you enjoyed this beautiful session. Let us have a beautiful music for a few minutes. Om Shanti. Om Shanti.